everybody. It's Hallie Hara. Today, we're going to talk about wrapping up your externship. So I want you to think about, you are going to want to remember this opportunity. It's probably one of the more noteworthy things that you've done in law school, um, but more important than just sort of preserving it for memory's sake, you're going to want to preserve it to talk about in job interviews in the future. So if you want to be a litigator and you externed at the district court, that might be something good to talk about. Well, it was very interesting when I was an extern for judge so-and-so, I was able to see the court from the inside out and to see how judges, what goes into judicial decision-making. And I really feel that it's influenced my you know, techniques as a litigator. And so think about that you are going to want to remember this better than you are going to years down the road. So take notes right? Somewhere put some notes that you're going to be able to keep track of who you met, their hobbies and interests, right? This is very good just for networking purposes. So let's say you met, you know, Mike and you run into Mike on the street and you know, he's an avid soccer player. You know, you say, Hey, did you see that Man City game the other day? That was uh, unbelievable. Or I should call it a match, I suppose. Did you see that match the other day? So those are good things to jot down. Also, the projects that you worked on, those things are very helpful for future job interviews. Or if you ask your site for a letter of recommendation, they may not remember what you worked on, but your letter is going to be a whole lot better if you can remind them what you liked and didn't like. So we've talked a bit about professional identity formation. Um, make note of your likes and dislikes. These are important drivers to where you want to go in your career. Um, so those are good things to make a note of. What you did well and what you can improve upon. So you know me, I'm a big fan of self-reflection, whether it comes to your learning or um, in the classroom or at your externship site. We all need goals. We're all works in progress. And so being able to truly evaluate your strengths and weaknesses is a real is a real necessity if you really want to be the best you can be as a lawyer. So decide what relationship do you want to have with the people at your site going forward? And only you can answer this question. So for example, after my first year I externed for a judge, I met a law clerk there. We really hit it off. I years down the road I ended up going to her wedding. It was a wonderful time. So we became friends. Conversely, other people that I've met along the way have become sort of mentors to me. Are they going to be a recommender? Or is it someone you want to send a Christmas card to? So kind of decide about that, where you want that to go. Because if it is somebody you want to stay in touch with, then you want to remember to reach out every once in a while and check in. Make a list of any remaining to-do items, of course, that you have, open-ended items, and then any questions that you want to ask before you leave the office. So th say thank you. Um, this is something that maybe gets overlooked. It's common sense, but you are very busy um, as law students and future lawyers. And so, you know, sometimes you don't end up leaving under the best of circumstances in the sense that, you know, let's say you're working for you know, a judge and the judge happens to be out of town at a conference or something. And then you don't get to say goodbye, right? It's your final day. And it's this awkward thing where you don't get to thank the person for the opportunity. So consider writing a handwritten note. So this is good, better, best, right? So good is to thank somebody on your way out, shake their hand if it's non-COVID times and look them in the eye and tell them you really appreciated the opportunity. Um, better is maybe sending a very professional email, has a few personal details in there um, that clearly articulates, you know, what you got out of the experience and how much you appreciated it. And then best is a handwritten note. So you can do whatever you'd like. There's no musts or shoulds here, but it's nice to say thank you. So if for those of you who are sort of stuck, I don't know where to begin. I just wrote down some phrases here that might get you started. So thank you very much for the opportunity to extern at insert nonprofit government office, wherever it is that you work. I really enjoyed supplementing my classroom learning with this hands-on legal work. I'm especially grateful for 
you know, the communication you had with me, given that I was working remotely due to COVID, this experience also strengthened my desire to pursue you know, employment law or to pursue a position as a law clerk, whatever that is to you. Or although let's say you externed in something totally different that you're not going to do, right? You you externed um, with a focus in family law, but you really want to work in corporate. Although my practice will likely focus on corporate law, I know my experience here was an important step to my becoming a responsible member of the bar, right? So you observed attorneys, you interacted with attorneys. That's still very important, even if the substance of your future career is going to be different. I would really like to stay in touch as, you know, wherever you are in your legal education, you can reach me at, give your personal information if you're, if you would like. Thank you again for this excellent externship. And I wish you, and that's where you mentioned, mentioned other supervising attorneys or law clerks, all the best, right? So, so take those little bracketed areas and personalize it, right? Really make it your own, but have it come from your heart because being an externship supervisor is such a wonderful thing and people do it as a way to sort of give back. And so taking the time to say, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to mentor me. Even if you didn't have a perfect experience, that experience is teaching you something. So the thank you is just a good professional idea. And then give yourself a boost. So don't just walk away, drop the mic and not get everything you can from it. Shout out about the great experience that you've had. So update your resume while this is fresh in your mind. Include a detailed description. So let's say you're externing autumn semester, you're taking exams now, you're not going to want to update your resume right away. Mark it on your calendar to do it at the start of spring semester, just so that it doesn't get lost, right? So include the detailed description, which you're going to use your notes, obviously, for that. Update your LinkedIn profile. This is an important thing to include there. It's valuable experience. And connect with the people that you worked with and that you met during your externship. And then think about preparing an elevator pitch. So this is, again, how you're going to use this to further your career. So if you, you know, run into a different judge, let's say, I don't know why my mind is so focused on judicial today. If you run into a different judge, let's say at a um, CLE, you might say, oh my gosh, I wanted to tell you, I had the best experience externing for Judge X. She was fantastic. I got to see her trial on X, Y, and Z. So have your short explanation of your externship experience so that you can take it out when you need to. And then finally, you know, write your final reflection. Think about what were my goals at the outset and what did I enhance? What skills did I enhance or develop? And what do I still need to continue to work on? So that self-reflection is always a great way to end. And then if you're enrolled in an externship course where you're getting credit, of course, get back to that syllabus. If you are my student, get back to that syllabus. What remaining to-do items do you have? You know, is there time tracking that you need to turn in? Is there a writing sample? Are there journal entries? Um, this is different. These are actually not things I'm using this semester in my course. This is different for every course, but you put all that time and effort in. Don't leave the coursework, you know, on the table. Make sure you dot all your I's and cross all your T's to get that credit. And then your feedback matters. So your experience at the site is very important to future students who will be placed where you are. So that means that you can feel free in a very constructive way to give feedback to your site supervisor, but perhaps even more significantly, give the feedback to your externship director to tell them what was good, what wasn't good. If there's, um, I have a evaluation for my students to fill out of the site so that we know where students are having good experiences or maybe experiences that need to be improved. So don't walk away without having your voice be heard. And when I say give feedback to the site, you know, you can say, I really loved when you sort of gave me a framework of how long a project might take. Like when you put that sticky note and said, spend about 10 hours on this, that was very helpful because I find that I take too long on things or whatever 
it is that you found helpful that might help a future extern, right? Or things that, you know, I'm really glad I got included on that one meeting. I think maybe if you can bring more externs, externs in on more opportunities like that, that would be really good going forward. So anyway, be reflective about it, be thoughtful about it, be proud of yourself for all the work that you put in. Balancing law school and an externship is very, very difficult. So kudos to you. As always, just know I'll be rooting for you. Thanks.